guys are looking to buy a BMW 340i. Well, I don't blame you. But is it a good choice to go ahead and buy it in today's market? Let's talk about it. Alrighty, so we're back in the YouTube studio slash office, and we're gonna talk about whether or not you should buy a BMW 340i in these type of market conditions. Just a little bit of background for myself. I went to school at UCF. I got my bachelor's in finance there. So I do have a bit of a finance background and that makes me, you know, more interested in like the macroeconomics, especially what's going on now in today's world. But I mean, overall it doesn't mean much. I'm not gonna tell you any financial advice. Like you shouldn't listen to what I say. You should just take it with a grain of salt. As another opinion, as someone who did a little bit of research online, uh, for you so then you can go and do research yourself and then make an educated opinion or you know decide for yourself this is also going to come from you know my own experience having owned a 340i for over a year now and we'll go ahead and talk about that too later on in this video but as we all know today's market is super ultra inflated with all the money printing that's been happening especially since 2008 and 2020 about 80 percent of all like us dollars have been printed since 2020 so that's pretty crazy so when there's more money in the market there's more dollars chasing basically the same amount of goods and services so that causes obviously prices to rise and everyone's feeling it in their pockets i know especially with us car people we're feeling at the gas pumps now in today's market it makes buying a more valuable asset more of a harder decision like a car or a house especially with all these prices having skyrocketed over the past years but here you are and you want a bmw F30 340i. You've heard all the hype about the B58 engine, falling in love with those angel eyes and the awesome fresh body styling, <laughs> the last of its kind. But would all that hype still be worth it in today's market? Let's go ahead and discuss that. But before we discuss that, let's talk about the 340i just from my experience, so like a mini review. This is my Sunset Orange Metallic BMW 340i. And what really drew me to this car was definitely the color. Sunset Orange Metallic is not a color that came on a lot of older generation F30s. By far one of my favorite colors that comes like standard on a BMW, not individual. So I've been loving it. Before this car I had an F30 328i in a Storo Blue. And that's probably my second favorite standard color for a BMW. That color was awesome, but Sunset Orange Metallic just hits different with the metallic flake in the sun. It just glistens and it looks so cool. It has like different shades to it and different lighting. So my car is a 2018. I bought this car back in February, 2021. And of course, looking back at that decision, that was an awesome decision. <laughs> so it came with like 13,000 miles. Now it has 21,000 miles on it and I could sell it probably for more than I bought it for at this point, which is awesome. If I go to sell it now, then I would have to upgrade because you know, I'm not gonna downgrade. But if I do, that would be a smart financial decision. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just I couldn't do it. But overall, I've had such a blast owning and driving this car. It has the famous inline six from BMW. They're just known for making like one of the best inline sixes on the market. So as you know, the B58 is the successor to the N55 335i engine. So it's pretty much like the same power as the 335i off the lot, but a little more beefy, hence the name B58. Or thought I could call it beefy. <laughs> so it has a slightly bigger turbo, a closed deck block, and overall just like stronger engine design. So the B58 has an air to liquid cooling system, whereas the N55 just has an air to air system. So this helps prevent heat soak and delivers more consistent power and overall performance. So the N55 is by no means a bad engine. It's just the B58 is a better engine as engineers have had more time to produce it and spend time, you know, making it better than the N55. Also, a reason why I'm sure you're in the market for a 340i or a car with a B58 engine is because of the tuning potential. That's why most people will go for these cars. So the B58 has a much more tuning potential than its N55 predecessor. You can reach 500 plus wheel horsepower in a B58 motor, uh, much easier than you could in an N55. And then you can also reach 450 wheel horsepower in a B58 for about $1,500 if you buy like the cheapest parts. And that's pretty crazy. And I will say that's definitely what enticed me. My car is currently running a stage two plus tune from boot mode. 
and also has the Dorch Stage 2 high pressure fuel pump. Also have a high flow down pipe, dual resonator deletes, and then a Remus axle back exhaust. And then I also have the Turner Motorsports carbon fiber cold air intake, which sounds amazing and it provides a lot more performance paired with the tune and all the other bolt ons. So I assume the car is pushing just over 400 wheel horsepower and I do want to get this on the dyno soon so stay tuned for that video. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> we'll be having that one soon because I want to know. I just want to know. So in general this is like a good amount of power that I'm running currently for a daily driver. You know it's super comfortable driving around town and then if I want to really get on it put it in sport plus mode hit the shifter over because I do have XHP flash uh, transmission tune as well so that makes the transmission just shift so fast and aggressive in sport plus with the shifter in the sport transmission setting and it just yeah it's super rowdy <laughs> so overall i feel like you do get like the best of both worlds you get a comfortable daily driver and then also pretty quick sports car and bmw always have done a really good job of doing that combining like the luxury and the sport probably one of the best luxury sport vehicles you can buy. So basically you can achieve like the same amount of power as an F80 M3, stock one of course, uh, for around half the price, which is pretty enticing if you ask me. But of course it doesn't have the body styling as an M car would, nor does it have the driver feel either. I will be doing a F30 340i versus F80 M3 comparison video coming up soon to the channel, so make sure you subscribe so you can not miss out on that one. That's gonna be a good one. But going back to like driver feel for the F30, you know, it can feel a little bit numb at times because it does have electric steering and doesn't have all like the suspension and bells and whistles as an M car would. However, the car still handles really well, especially with mine, I put on some H&R Sport lowering springs. So the car is a little bit lower, a little more plain to the ground, has that more of a sporty feel and it's a really predictable car and I have no complaints in that regard. So since the 340i is like a mid-cycle production car for the F-Series, it does have like updated suspension geometry, so it's a little bit more improved than the prior vehicles, and it also does have like a refined electronic steering to be a little bit more sporty, which I don't really notice that much of a difference coming from a 2012 328i. I guess it's a little, you know, stiffer, and it feels less electronic vibe, if you, if you will. <laughs> But yeah, that's not not too much of a difference. It's a really fun car to own and like the exhaust note sounds really good too. Overall, an F30 has been a car that many enthusiasts look into, especially, you know, to get their feet wet modifying a European car. It's also you know, more of like a daily driver too. So I say skip all the other models, buy a BMW 340i. But before you do that, let's talk about why you shouldn't. So used car prices have appreciated around 44% from 2019 to December 2021. And that's just like the overall market. And that is pretty high. And this is especially like more so for cars compared to trucks or SUVs. And then newer vehicles have had less appreciation than older vehicles compared to like you know five-year-old or ten-year-old vehicles having the most appreciation so that's kind of helpful when you're looking to buy a 340i that's less than five years old which is basically a 2018 <laughs> like what i have but what goes up must come down right eventually we hope <laughs> but now certain certain firms so like jd power they're forecasting used car prices to drop a good bit by the end of this year and then into 2023. And then also a well-known firm, KPMG, expects the same thing to happen. So there's definitely a price drop coming. I've also heard that too on just listening to finance podcasts. Um, there's this one guy I listened to, he had, he's like a huge used car salesman. He's like one of the best that I've heard of in the nation. And yeah, his inventory right now is just like not moving. So prices are, are gonna drop. It's coming. So this dip in price should come from you know the stabilization of new car sales and recovering supply chains. And then also demand is not as high right now as people have already bought cars or made their purchases, especially with all the free money that they got during these past couple of years. So right now people know that like with interest rates going up too, it's knocking down their potential purchase price 
and taking a lot of people out of the market or deterring them from buying the car that they wanted. But if you are shopping for a car during this time, you know, still all like the fundamentals still apply. Definitely shop around, especially for interest rates right now. Shop around a lot. Try to get the lowest rate that you can find. Get quotes from multiple different lenders. Uh, back when I financed my car, I did it directly through BMW and they actually provided me with a rate lower than my local credit union could. So that was awesome and I went with them and their financing. And which is also good because since I'm gonna be current and not have any late payments on this vehicle, then I'll pretty much have a lot more success financing vehicles with them in the future. But I don't know if I would still use their interest rates right now. I'm sure there's other credit unions that can beat BMW at this point. But this period of time, like within these next few months before prices dip or before they should dip, uh, it can be detrimental to some people who have financed a car during these inflationary periods that need to trade it in or sell it and downgrade potentially just so they can lock in some of that money and not have such a big burden. So in my opinion, if you have the luxury to wait on the purchase, I would. I would just wait until prices have come down a little bit because right now it's, it's pretty ridiculous out there and also the inventory is rather slim. But this should give you plenty of time to, you know, to shop around and figure out what you, know, what you want, all the options and packages that come in these cars. But if you can't wait and you want to buy a car now, you should just remain flexible and understand like, what you're getting yourself into. Make sure you don't have any other huge debts going on that is going to really hinder you and your finances. So you just need to remain flexible and make sure you can accommodate a larger loan size or a longer period of a loan term. So that is pretty much it guys. I hope this video helped you out if you're looking to buy a BMW 340i right now or any other type of car, BMW, what have you. So guys, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about all of this and if you would buy a car now or if you would hold off and wait. So I appreciate everyone watching. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, smash that like button for me as it greatly helps out my channel. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.